already if you've seen the previous video for register usage. Um, the any file, which is a graphical representation, is up here on the preset dialog. You notice here that the uh, the any file's name matches the uh, the sensor name here, part number. And uh, the any file is uh, the set of instructions to uh, to initialize and control the uh, the sensor. Now what you'll notice here is demo initialization. We mentioned that at the uh, at the introduction, uh, the basics uh, getting started video. Uh, that controls the uh, the instructions to get the sensor going in the first place. You notice there one's also here for demo initialization for MIPI. So this implies demo initialization itself is for parallel output and this one is for MIPI. The SOC 5140, that's the two output modes it supports. It's also a reset. Now what's interesting about that is that um, DevWare will automatically enable this reset uh, button here if it sees a reset, pre a reset preset. <laughs> and it also will enable this init uh, menu item if it sees uh, the demo initialization. So uh, that is what's associated with that. And you also notice these toolbars here. Toolbar colon is the code uh, in an any file for DevWare to be able to uh, go ahead and populate a custom toolbar. And we're going to create one here in a minute, our own little custom toolbar. So here, toolbar, full res 15, 720p30, and so on. Because that's, what, that's what's uh, um, represented there. And we can scroll down here, and we see quite a few presets. Again, each one of these entries is a, is a preset, except for these that are kind of fake comments. Um, quite a few that are in here. Now, what we can do here is we can do an edit to actually open up the any file. Any file is nothing more than a text file. It does have a dot any, as we saw here, a dot any um, uh, extension on that. And uh, besides the regular, uh, our regular uh, disclaimer and header and, and such, uh, we can scroll down here. And what we should see is, um, sorry to have to switch back and forth here. Um, what we'll see is that the demo initialization, these presets match up with the words that are in these brackets. So here's demo initialization, here's demo initialization MIPI, uh, so on and so forth, reset and such. Um, now the any file itself is a set of commands that are recognized by DevWare. It's a kind of a special language, if you will, a scripting language. Um, a load command, we're not going to go over all of these, but I will point you to the uh, um, to the document here in a second. Um, the load command is uh, is referenced to um, to another preset. So, for example, step zero tool configuration. Let's just do a control C, control F to search for that, and I'll put it in here. I'm going to put a bracket on the back just to go find it. And what we'll see is later on here in the any file. Sure enough, there is a preset called uh, step zero, and so on. And that is uh, the basics of how other presets are called. Um, these are comments here. And as you can see, for an SOC, there's a certain uh, number of steps to bring the part up. And uh, delay is another kind, another command. State is a command to set internal uh, variables inside DevWare. Uh, if command is saying, if this register 14 for a mask of 200 equals zero, then load demo initialization. Otherwise, load demo initialization uh, MIPI. So it actually has a method of uh, figuring that out through reading a register. Uh, the toolbars definition, again, the, um, the any user guide has, the, has all this uh, defined. Um, and here it's going through and telling you it's using this icon, which is kind of a standard one, and the tooltip, which means that if you roll over the, um, let me so, uh, highlight this, if you roll over it, you'll see the tooltip there, just enable full resolution. And that's exactly what this tooltip does. So if you want, you can define that. And then uh, you go ahead and you put in your load, or well, actually whatever settings you want, load commands. A field uh, WR command is uh, actually references a, um, uh, a register of firmware variable by name. You can also do reg equals, which actually is a raw address. Um, and so in this case, it's running two presets and doing a sequence command. Um, so it's got a little bit of the basics of what the any file does. Um, under documents, if you want to know more how all the uh, how all of it works, <coughs> excuse me. Um, if you go under the um, sorry, that's under user guides and DevWare any file user guide, you can select that directly through here, and that'll bring up the PDF file that has uh, the definition of all the uh, all the any commands, and they're it's quite extensive as far as any, man, any commands that exist, very rich language, and uh, just the table of contents here, you can go through there 
and figure out how to uh, to add things. So as promised, we're gonna we're gonna just uh, kind of create a kind of a uh, I'll call it even a goofy <laughs> a goofy kind of uh, preset ourselves. But let's go back to the tr control sensor control dialog, and um, let's go back to the log. Enable the log. And um, let's say that we want to add a button to uh, just to turn on mono, for example. So again, this is a very simple example. Um, but uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to capture the registers that are required. And there's, if you remember for our example, that's two. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to save those settings to an any file. So I can save, select save to any. I'm going to put that to my desktop. And I'm going to say mono preset and save that. And so now let's go, let's just disable this and then let's take a look at this mono preset. Very straightforward. In fact, what it did was it actually collected the exact settings that we had uh, in, the, uh, in the log file. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go in here, and paste it in there. Cheat a little bit and actually grab this. The toolbar. I'm going to call this mono on. Let's do a uh, copy a tooltip. Pretty simple here. Enable. Enable monochrome. I'm going to save that. Now the only thing you have to do, I've saved this, but you do have to do a reload. And you notice since when I do the reload, there's my mono on and there's my mono on preset. So and I didn't, I didn't bother to create one that is um, actually off, so let me just manually turn this off. But if I select this preset now, it goes ahead and, and does that. So again, a very simplistic example, but it shows you, you know, a very uh, simple way of adding custom toolbars to, uh, to your any file and uh, for whatever you want to do. So again, very simple, simple example. Um, there are you can go in here and actually um, run a tool by but run a preset excuse me by one of two methods you select it and press um, the load command or as a shortcut you can simply double click it and it'll run it you can also um, uh, do a save the current state oops lost that of the selected preset um, you can create a new one, but um, I don't. I don't do a lot with these. Uh, majority of the time, I do an edit and um, and uh, and edit so I can just edit the uh, the any file directly. And let me close this. And close that. So that is uh, some of the the general things that you can do uh, with the uh, with the any file, and uh, that'll conclude um, this. Um, this uh, uh, training for the Unifile again um, uh, it's a very rich command set and uh, take a look at that uh, user guide for the uh, for the Devwer um, the Devwer Unifile user guide to get an idea of all things you can do um, as a side note um, one of the things you will find in some of the Unifiles is our Python commands now if you are using a sensor that does Python what you'll want to do is go into the development guide under Python and take a look at that. Um, uh, in a future uh, training uh, video we will talk a little more about Python but just in case that um, if you do see Python commands in there that doesn't look like any file commands that's what's going on and that's some of our newer sensors.